Okay, morning everybody. We are back at the workshop. Great stuff, right? And um, I've got a lot of motors and also a couple of status and transformers that I want to do today. And we are going to do that. We're going to see how much money we make. And then I've got something very interesting. And it's this thing. I don't know what that is. But it's very heavy. And it unscrews on the bottom. And it was together with motors and transformers at my uh, my customers so i guess it's a transformer but we'll figure it out and if it's good if it's got good value i'm gonna also take two more of them because there were two more of them and we're gonna scrap these out as well so i hope that's um that's gonna be interesting i'm probably gonna do a separate video about that because that's most likely gonna take some time but you're gonna see it in the next couple of days so uh, no worries i'm th i think that's really gonna be interesting but we'll see, maybe it won't. So uh, yeah, we definitely got a lot of this. I'm gonna do some time-lapse uh, time lapse shots of me um, cleaning all these up. And then we've also got all them, which that's gonna be easy. You know, you, you already know how I do these. I might show you a couple of clips of that, but yeah. So we'll see how much money we can make and then, yeah, hopefully it's gonna be good. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so I've started taking apart some of the transformers that were lying around and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to make a time lapse now of me disassembling all of these motors. And then I'm going to make a time lapse of me scrapping all the stators that we, well, get out of that. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I obviously, as it's a time lapse, I can't really uh, go into detail on what I'm exactly doing there. But I think most of you get the point. It's, it's not very hard. Um, I'm mostly just unscrew unscrewing four screws and then taking the cast aluminum bits off. And um, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. I hope you like the time lapse format. Write a comment about that if you, if you, if you do. And um, probably also if you don't, but I kind of like it, so yeah, it's probably going to stay. And um, yeah, we're going to start with that and see how, how uh, well that works. So here we go.
Wow, that was very, very long and very annoying. Some of these screws just were so incredibly bent, I couldn't use my drill because it was so tight in there. So I had to use a ratchet, so it took absolutely forever. I mean, you saw that, you saw it four times quicker than it actually was. But like, that's incredibly annoying. Oh man. But oh well, it's done now and we are now gonna proceed to getting the copper out of these staters. And then I'm finally done for today. My goodness. Was a long day, but um, yeah, we're gonna finish this up now and I'm also gonna bring you along for that. Okay, um, very sorry my, my battery died there, so um, yeah, you didn't see the last little bit of time lapse. I think you saw like 30 seconds of me um, starting the first stator, but I got them all done. You see, everything's gone, there's all the steel we've got, and over there's some trash and some stuff that I still need to sort, and this is our copper bucket. We don't have that much today, but that's also because I, I just did a lot of this stuff. And um, besides that, you know, it was like, I don't know, six, seven hours of work, so nothing really major, so I don't really uh, expect any major profits here. But we'll see how much copper we've got. Um, I've popped the scale out, so we'll just put that in here and see, see how much we ended up with. Okay, that looks like it's about 14 kilos. Pretty good, pretty good, so um, yeah, as I said, it's not a whole lot, but it's definitely quite something, and it also looks quite nice, I would say, so yeah, we'll go to the scrapyard tomorrow, and we'll see what we get for that. Okay, hello everybody, we are back from the scrapyard, it's like one, one and a half hours later, and it's already pitch black, and it's like, I think like... 425 430 p.m. Yeah, just awesome. <laughs> but oh well. Um we got some money out of it. Uh, we did get very bad prices. I don't know why, but um I guess that's just what it is right now. I, I don't really know. Write it down in the comments. Is copper really falling? Because my yard is just continuing to give me like like 10 cents less every time I go there, and that's been like that for like three weeks. So, that kind of sucks. So, uh, yeah, but we still got 14.5 uh, kilos of burnt copper at 4, uh, not 4, at 5.70 a kilo. Comes out to a total of 82.65, uh, which is alright, but it could have been way better because, like, I think like three, maybe four weeks ago, I was getting like 6 to 6.10 for a kilo of burnt. So, um,. Yeah, that's not great, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, next thing we've had um, is electric motors. We got 10 kilos of those. We got 40 cents a kilo, which is, I know that's really bad. I, I have to look for some better price. But, um, you know, in, in here in Germany, you don't really get a better price for them. Uh, I know that you can get a way better price in, like, America and, and Canada even. But um, here, it's, it is what it is. So we got four bucks for that. Not great, but it is what it is. Uh, we got brass, which is the last thing here, um, at 2.5 kilos. Um, was expecting more. I don't know. Maybe I forgot to put something in the bucket. Whatever. Uh, we got three bucks a kilo for that, so we got seven bucks and fifty cents for that, um, and it comes out to a total of 94 euros and 15 cents. It's all right, you know. It's all right got the money right here so i guess that's good but um yeah it could have been way better well we'll just keep going and um, hope that next time uh, gets better well as i said don't forget to comment anything you you might f feel like commenting any questions any stuff like that i would be very happy if you could do that um, i would also be very happy if you could uh, give this video like a thumbs down or a, th a thumbs up or a thumbs down uh, whatever you might feel like doing and um yeah, I would also highly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. That would also be a very, very nice thing. And um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.